Hey Bill, we're uh, this is the 04 Arctic Fox 1150. Sorry, it's taking me a bit to get you this video, but uh, as you can see, you're right. There has there is a little bit of D-lam here in the front around the window. Has the swing out brackets, so uh, you'll be able to put your dually in there. As well as one of the cool things that uh, that Arctic Fox does is they use a diamond plate here on the side as well. So as it slides in the box, it doesn't gouge the side of this. All electric motors, so you just uh, push a button that'll run those jacks up and down. This is the slide out here. Um, you have storage underneath uh, where the sink and stuff are, as well as uh, in the booth dinette here. Arctic Fox, what they do, what kind of separates them from everybody, Bill, is they actually, uh, everything's going to be insulated. All your catches are all metal. I mean, the only thing they don't worry about is the price it costs to make the coach as well as the weight. Those are the two things they they really just uh, don't really mess with. 2,500 uh, watt generator. Has the roof rack and ladder as well as the awning. Looks like uh, they backed up into something there. So may need some new fabric. As we come around this side, Arctic Fox uses two uh, seven and a half gallon bottles that are vertically instead of the uh, horizontal bottles. Those horizontal bottles just cost about, I mean they cost a ton of money to buy comparative to just these regular bottles. As well as, uh, this is where your sewer dump is, as well as the uh, uh, remote for the jacks. And it's all done just right there. And it's got a long cord so you can pull it all the way out and walk up to either side uh, of the coach. As we look down this side, uh, oh, sorry it's right up next to this other coach here, but you have water heater, your batteries, outside shower, all that's located just uh, right there. As we come inside, you have the uh, typical Arctic Fox trap door here. Put uh, guns, fishing poles, things like that in. All their drawers are all custom made. They use all hardwoods instead of uh, OSB or particle board. Get a little bit of storage under here as well as the outside storage. Um, this dinette here makes down into a bed. This is your big slide out here. There's all storage back here as well, so it's not just wasted space, as well as a uh, nice little storage here. Good drawers. This one has a three burner stove with the oven. Nice good storage over the, over the uh, stove area. And it goes all the way back there as well, so it's a nice big deep storage area back there as well. It's got the north-south bed. It's got storage on both sides as well as storage up in the front. Um, you got a big storage compartment here with the flip-up counter that uh, hooks onto right here as well. So when you're preparing food and stuff, you got a little bit extra. Uh, space here, counter space. CD, the generator only has 73 hours on it, so it hasn't hardly even been used. Oven, or microwave, sorry. Storage here. Nice big fridge and freezer here. And then you've also got the rollout pantry here. And then just a little storage area there. Now the 1150 is the dry bath, so the toilet is outside of the shower. As well as uh, you got some extra storage there. So this is the 1150 bill. I uh, hope you like this, hope it helps, and look forward to seeing you this weekend. Thanks.